If you feel stuck and you don't know what type of low content book to create, then have a watch of this video and you can use this in combination with ChatGPT to brainstorm a bunch of niches. Now, I made this video a few months back, and it's a huge list of 30 low content books that you can create. Now, this in combination with AI, specifically ChatGPT, if you use these two in combination, you can actually brainstorm so many niches. And that's what this video is all about. So, let me share with you and show you exactly what I mean. Now, let's take a look at this list. There's 30 different types of low content books that you can create. Now, in this list, we can see notebooks, journals, composition notebooks, planners, logbooks, guest books, and so many others. Now, if we take one of these low content books and come over to ChatGPT, we can ask it to give us a bunch of niches. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's type, can you give me a list of 10? Now you can do 10, 20, 30. It does not matter, but when I do my research, I tend to use lists of 10, just because it makes it a little bit easier and less overwhelming. But let's finish typing, and I've put, can you give me a list of 10 guest book niches for KDP and that sell on Amazon? Now, before I hit enter, I just do want to speak about something really quick, and that is, this is just brainstorming. Whatever ChatGPT gives me in the form of niches, you don't just want to take that niche and create a book. You're still going to have to dive deeper over on Amazon, seeing if there's demand for that niche, and to see if people are actually searching in that niche as well. So just remember that, that this is just a brainstorming session. Now, with that being said, let's click enter, and let's see what ChatGPT is going to give us. So, right off the bat, we've got wedding guestbook, baby shower guestbook, funeral guestbook, anniversary guestbook, vacation, bridal, graduation, memorial, birthday, and christening slash baptism. So that's one that I would have never thought about. Now, as it says just here, please note that this list is only for the idea. You will have to do the market research and make sure there is enough demand for the product and also check the competition level as well. So this is what I mean when I say don't just use this for niche research and create a book. There's still a lot more that goes into it regarding diving deep deep. Now I am going to touch up on that a little bit as well later on in the video, but again, look at that. Within a matter of seconds, it's brainstormed a bunch of ideas. Now you can do this for lots of different types of low content books as well. Again, if we come over to this huge list of low content books, let's go ahead and take another one of these. Now, what I will do as well is link this video down in the description so you can go through and take a look and I'll link it in a card in the right hand corner of the screen so you can check it out that way as well. So, let's go ahead and take another one of these books. Let's go with the ledgers because ledgers are an interesting niche. So let's go back over to here. In fact, I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it back in and just take out guest book and put ledger book. So now we have, can you give me a list of 10 ledger book niches for KDP and that sell on Amazon? Now, another thing that I want to note really quick, is that when you ask this AI questions, the more specific you are, the better answers that you're going to get. Now, you might ask it a question, not quite get the answer that you want. So what you want to do is reword that question for better results. So let's go ahead. Let's take this one. Let's click enter as well and see 
what this AI is going to give us. So a recipe ledger book, I've never heard of that. I don't know if that's a thing, but then we have accounting ledger book, gardening logbook, daily journal ledger book, not really a thing either. So this is what I mean, what that you only want to use this for brainstorming. Never just rely on this AI for your niche research, because again, there's still so much more that goes into it. But now we have recipe, I don't think that's a thing, accounting ledger, gardening logbook, that's not a ledger. So daily journal ledger book, not too sure if that's a thing, Auto maintenance ledger book. So that's going to be a thing. Workout logbook, home inventory ledger book. So that could be a thing. And then we have a weight loss journal ledger book as well. So a few of these I don't think are actual niches, but again, you want to just use this for brainstorming and then take those niches over to Amazon to see if there's demand. Now, let's go ahead and actually take another one of these books. So let's go ahead and take, let's just take a journal. So let's go back over to here. Let's paste that again. And then we could change out the guest book for journals. So let's do that. Can you give me a list of 10 journal niches for KDP and that sell on Amazon? Let's click enter and let's see what we get. So daily journal planner, a gratitude journal, travel journal, diet food journal, drawing sketch journal, dream journal, they're quite popular, language learning journals, that's something that I've actually never heard of, then a fitness journal, writing journal, and a guided journal with prompts. Now, with all of these just here, you can expand on these as well. So if you don't actually know what one of these is, let's go with a language journal. You can put, can you explain to me what what a language learning journal actually is. So you can do that. You could even just put, can you expand on point number seven, as that's number seven, but it's going to give you a little, de a little description of what that book actually is. So this is really cool, and it really helps with your research. Now, let's just let that finish for a second and it says a language journal is a type of journal that is specifically designed to help people who are learning a new language now i only speak one language that's english i know a little bit of german not much though so something like a language journal i probably would not do myself but it's just a great way to utilize this ai to help you brainstorm ideas. Now let's go ahead and just take one more off this list and let's go with a, let's go with word search books. So I'm very interested because I haven't done this with word search. So let's go and put that again. No, in fact, let's just delete that and let's take that top one again. So let's just go back up to here. Let's take this, let's just scroll down to the bottom and then let's paste in that and put in word search. So word search. So can you give me a list of 10 word search niches? Let's see what this pulls up to see if they are actually niches. Okay, so word search puzzle books for adults, children, seniors, and travelers. So that's some pretty good ideas there. Then you could do word search puzzle books with a theme. So summer, vacation, Halloween, Christmas, animals, you could do large print, braille. We can't do braille because we don't have that option here within KDP, but then with crosswords for learning a new language or for a profession. So you could do a word search book around nursing, teaching, law enforcement, and so on. Again, this is just a really great way to brainstorm ideas. Now, if you want more ideas, you can say, can you give me 10 more and then it's going to give me 10 more sure here are 10 word search niches so word search puzzle books so valentine's day mother's day easter we could do it around sports and hobbies so that's gardening fishing golfing you could do colorable illustrations within the word search as well you could do increased difficulty levels a variety of different type of puzzles within the book as well you could do it for vocabulary 
where you focus on science or history, medical, legal. Again, there's some really great ideas here, but you still need to use this information to actually dive deeper over on Amazon. Now, how do you actually do that? Well, you can do that free or paid. Now, the free version is pretty simple. What you would need is two free tools from selfpublishingtitans.com. Now, if you come over to here, you can download and install this Google Chrome extension just here, which is great for seeing if a book or a niche is actually profitable. And then you also want this one just here, which is the Amazon Keyword Suggestion Expander. So what you want to do once you've found a niche, so let's go back over to here. Let's just try and find a niche real quick. So let's just take one from this list just here. So let's go with a science word search puzzle book or a science word search book. So let's type in science words, no, word search book. So we can actually see that people are searching for this. Now, this is one of the tools which I just suggested. This is the Amazon search expander where it pulls up all related words or keywords to the main keyword that you typed in. Now, if no one's searching for a certain niche, there's going to be nothing here at all, and you shouldn't bother with that niche. Now, if you type in your keyword and you have auto suggestions down here, that means people are actually searching for that book. Now, let's just change a couple of bits. Let's take away that book and let's do word search as one word. So science word search, We've only got one keyword. Let's do that again. Science word search book. And we have a few more keywords. Now let's actually put that together, word search book. So there's not very many keywords for a science word search book at all. We have one here, but this is a niche that I probably wouldn't bother with. But again, we can start using AI, this tool, ChatGPT, to brainstorm so many ideas and then dive deeper on Amazon. Now, in fact, let's just go back over to Amazon really quick because I feel like there should be a lot more keywords than what is showing just here. So let's take away the book. And let's do science word search. Let's do that as two words as well. So why science word search. So there we go. We've got a few more different keywords that we could actually dive deeper into. So science word search, science word search for middle school, books, puzzles, adults, large print, kids, or science fiction word search. So in fact, let's click on one of these just so you can see the other tool. So right off the bat for science word search for middle school, we can see that there's only 338 results. And if we take a look at this, this looks like a pretty good niche with a score of 61. Now to put that into perspective, anything over 50 is good. Anything over 60 is even better. So science word search for middle school actually looks like a really great niche, as we can see just here. So that's how you can use ChatGPT in combination with this video to start brainstorming a lot, lot of ideas for your low content books. Just always remember that you do need to dive deeper over on Amazon to see if there's demand for that book. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. And click right here and watch this video of a huge list of 30 low content book niches.